Okay, how's everybody doing? Welcome to the gravy, Sunday gravy versus sauce video. Now, as I'm talking, I'm mean, I already started this, so I don't have this long-winded Sunday gravy slash sauce video. But basically what I'm doing right now, I got my olive oil started. I'm just putting in all my meat, my sausage, my brajols, pork brajol, beef brajol, salt, hot sausage, uh, a little bit of pork for gravy. So now as this is browning, I'm going to talk to you guys about, again, sauce versus gravy. Now here's the compelling argument that's been going on for years. You mentioned sauce, gravy, put two Italians in a room. They start throwing things at each other, arguing. I get it. Now here's the deal. I'm going to break it down for you guys. Very simple. In Italy, they do not call it gravy. That's not where it comes from. They call it a ragu. A meat-based sauce is a ragu. In America, we call it Sunday gravy. Now, I'm not talking about opening up a jar of sauce in the store or putting a little tomatoes in a pan with some garlic and basil. That's a marinara sauce or a marinara, okay? That's not gravy. We're talking about the thing you make on Sunday with all your meat, your brajol, your agobina, your pork sausage, your beef. That's what we're talking about. Is it called, is that called gravy, this right here? Or is it called sauce? Now I'm gonna show you and prove to you guys at the end of the video, gotta watch, on why it's gravy. And you'll see why we call it Sunday gravy and why we don't call it Sunday sauce. So, as this is browning, I got my little good fella garlic right there, sliced paper thin. I use a little bit of onion. I don't chop it, what I do is I put the onion in, I brown it, I pull it out at the end. Um, so again, let me break this down. The definition in Webster's Dictionary, gravy, is a meat dripping based sauce from the fat of the meat, the drippings of the meat, and thickened. We're not going to add flour to this. Wait, look, look at all that meat in there. You see that? By the way, that's an Angus piece of Angus beef, sausage, pork, my brajols. I got some over here. I already fried some meatballs again, not to bore you guys. I don't think anybody wants to see an Italian guy playing with his balls and sausage all day. Um, again, gravy versus sauce. What I want you guys to do at the end of this video is let me know, for all you people that call it sauce, if I persuaded you or changed your mind. So, as the meat's browning, you can see, look at all the fat in the bottom of that pan. It's kind of hard to see because it's steamed. But you see all those little pieces of fondant and little gobs of goodness in there, man? That's what makes this a gravy. You got all that fat and juice from all this meat. And once we throw in our tomatoes, now the trick is with this, again, I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm kind of doing this halfway through. I throw my garlic in midway. And why I do that is if you throw your garlic in in the beginning, it's gonna burn, okay? So, again, cut the garlic nice and thin. Look, people, when you're doing garlic in any type of sauce, tomato sauce, marinade sauce, your sister's there, whatever you want to call it, Cut the garlic thin. It's all got to be good fella thin with the razor blade. But one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they put in whole chunks of garlic. And they don't cook it. And you friggin' eat sauce and you bite it into this raw chunk of garlic. Man, I'm doing me. It's a sin. You should be crucified. The garlic should melt away in the sauce. But you just get that little last piece of garlic. And you can just barely taste it. But it's, it's just beautiful. Let it melt away. Cook it slow. So... Again, guys, Sunday gravy, your yeah, sister's ass, versus Sunday salt, they just got splattered on. Um, is it sauce, is it gravy? I'll break it down one more time for you guys. Gravy, the word does not exist in Italy, it's brown gravy, yes, I get that, they call it a ragu. Here in America, for many, 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 many years, since I'm a kid, before I'm a kid, we've developed this Sunday gravy. And again, why it's a gravy, I'm going to show you at the end of the video. When I show you this, I guarantee you most of you are going to change your mind. So, why it's called gravy? You got all the drippings. Look at all the fat coming off of that meat and the sausage. And you got the pork and the brajol and the, the piece of meat. Hey, Sammy. Hey, Dana. Um, you know, it's just a beautiful thing. You got all these, all this dripping. All right, we're going to start. Our garlic's starting to get a little brown. We're going to let this go for another minute. I hope everybody out there is staying safe. I know this corona shit is getting old. It's getting played. The weather's been shitty. Um, guys, if anybody is in need of anything, if you're hungry, whatever, please let me know. I'll happily bring you a bowl of pasta. 
You know, I know a lot of people are out of work. It's fucking crazy. You know, this shit doesn't seem to be ending. I, I don't know what to believe anymore. But, uh, at least we're still healthy. We're still cooking. You know, try to make the best of it. Like I said, anybody needs anything, please reach out to me. I'd be happy to help in any way. But again, let's get back to the gravy versus sauce. Come on, people. Let's see some comments. Who calls it gravy? Who calls it sauce? Let me know what you think. Tell me again. At the end of this video, which is going to be in about four minutes, three minutes, I am going to show you, I prove to you, why it's gravy. Now, like I said, the definition of gravy. The definition of gravy. Meat-based sauce. Fat drippings, thickened. It has all of that. That's the, that's the de oh shit! I forgot my brush off. That's the definition of of gravy. So let's get this last brush all in there. Let's get that brown for a little bit. Our last bit of sausage. Now that's a lot of meat in there, man. We got a meat. We got a little meat orgy going on in there. Woo! Ah, look at that, Marando me. Beautiful, beautiful. Now. Normally I don't put this much meat in the pan at once, but I'm doing this one-handed. You know, I'm not an idiot. I can see what's brown, what's not. Um, again, come on, guys. Gravy, sauce. Let me know what you think. And again, I keep saying it. I keep repeating myself. I know I'm insane. I'm going to prove to you in a few minutes why it's gravy. And I guarantee you that I will change some of your minds. Okay. So, everything is almost brown. The key to good sauce too is a couple of things. You want to use a good San Manzano tomato. That's first and foremost. You want to use some quality meat. Now look, when you do a brush roll, it's usually a flank steak. You can go, look, again, make it. That's great. More power to you if you could. People say, ah, why'd you go buy your brush roll? You don't make it. Why? Because we got places like Frank and Sal's and other Italian Salia Marie's that make these beautiful brush rolls. For three dollars, already done. Why am I gonna sit here and pound out meat? But I don't got time for that. I wish I did, but I don't. Look how cute these things are. Giving Frank and Sal's a little plug right now. Beautiful little brush rolls. They do pork brush roll, beef brush roll. They do the agardiners. You know the pig skin roll. Um, having said that, the traditional way to do this is, you know, fry your meatballs. Some people roll them up, put them in raw. That's okay. Not what I prefer. Actually, when I was a kid, my mom used to do half and half. She'd get so tired of frying 100 meatballs. Ah, fuck this. I'm throwing the rest of them in the gravy. Um, like I said, you know, it, it, this is a labor of love. Not too many people do this anymore. The people that do do it, do it half-assed. All right, so we're going to put our tomatoes in, and then we're going to add the rest of our meat. And in about one minute, I am going to show you. Look how beautiful that is. That's a San Marzano tomato. I am going to show you. Wow. I'm going to add the rest of my meat. Now look, the other trick, I know I got sidetracked before. Basil. Beautiful fresh basil. Don't be afraid to add a shit pile of basil, man. Tomato basil is like peanut butter and jelly. You know, it's the perfect marriage. Um, all right, so that's going. We're going to lower this down. Just a little bit. Now, what I do with this is, once it comes up to a simmer, look at this. There's so much meat in here. It's like a giant bath of... I like to jump in the pot with all the meatballs and sausage and swim around in it. That's how beautiful that is. Um, once this comes up, I'm going to add a little salt, a little pepper, and I add a little gran not, oh, not, not onion powder. Not, I add a little granulated onion, granulated garlic. A lot of people give me shit about that. If you don't like it, don't put it. I like it. I use it. Not a lot, just a pinch. Old fashioned coffee pot. We're gonna make a little espresso next. Steph, what's going on? More basil, the better. Exactly correct. I mean, I got half a fucking Italy's fucking crop in here. Look at that. Um, okay, so here we go. I'm going to show you the difference between sauce and gravy. And again, I can't stress this more. We're not talking about going to a store, a store and buying a jar of sauce. We're not talking about a marinade sauce. We don't call that gravy. That would be silly. Of course, I can't get the drawer open. We're not talking about any of that. We're talking about the thing you make on Sunday with all the meat. A fungal de mafra. Um, 
that's what happens on live TV. Good thing we got a backup fork. Now, check this out. Sunday gravy. Do you see the color of this? Look at this. This is what a fork, people. Let me get the meat off. This is a fork. It's thick. It's brownish in color. Look at that. Just look at that. Take a look at that. Mud on. This I had from last week, by the way. Look at the color. That same gravy that I just made now is going to get that way. Now, again, gravy. Dark brown. Reddish, almost brownish in color. Look how thick that is. That's that sauce, my people. Look at that. Look at that. Me, look at the fork is tilted. It's still not coming off. You can't do that. I'm going with the mama. This guy keeps calling me. You can't do that with sauce. Now, over here. See the difference? See how bright red that is? Look at that. Look at that. That's sauce. That is Sunday sauce. Look at that. It falls right off the spoon. Sauce. Bright red. Thin. Look at this. Look at the difference. Look at that. Look at that. That's why we call it gravy. Again, you got all the meat in there, the brajol. It's nice and dark brown, reddish. My friends, if your Sunday gravy or sauce doesn't look like that, then you're doing it wrong. Look, call it whatever you want. Call it Sunday deliciousness. Call it your sister's ass. Call it whatever the hell you want. But I know this. The tradition of doing this is just such a beautiful thing. When I was a kid growing up, we did this every Sunday religiously. And that's really what it's all about. The whole gravy sauce thing is a fun, compelling argument. And again, right here, Sunday gravy. All your meats, nice, dark red, almost brownish in color. Nice and look at the thickness of that. Look at that. Now here's your sauce. Look, right off the spoon. Beautiful, beautiful marinade sauce, nice bright red, beautiful, fresh. I just made this a little while ago. Nothing wrong with that. But again, we're not talking about your jar of ragu. See that in Italy they call it a ragu sauce. Ragu la bolognese, a ragu sauce is a meat-based sauce. But here in America, when you say ragu, people refer to that god-awful jarred sauce that you get in stop and shop. And actually it's so bad that I've almost like it. I know it's crazy. It's just such a terrible sauce that it compels me to even eat it, but it, I don't know. It's just weird. You know, as a kid, we had it, you know, I don't know, but that's tomato sauce. Again, you see the color, bright red, nice, and that's the Sunday gravy, and there you have it, folks. I love all you guys. Fifi, Grandma Mimi's watching, Phil Soprani's watching, all right. Um, hey, Ted, what's doing, bud? So... I hope I at least can change some of your minds. What's going on, Jennifer? That's yeah, I wish you were fucking in Staten Island, but I bring you over a little little rigatoni with a little meatballs and brajol and and all other stuff. But again, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Drop the mic, it's done. It's Sunday sauce, people. Peace out.